love these girls. Who doesn't? I don't. WWE's resident Mean Girls under the bright lights on the big stage, exactly where the Iconics belong. Look, I might not be a huge fan of their personalities, but they do have an incredible story. Started out together in Sydney, Australia, came to WWE, signed their contracts at the same time, and now here they are, ready to compete on the big stage. You must have read about that on the internet, Saxton, because I know Peyton and Billy don't talk to you. Look at this, the Iconics shining bright on pay-per-view. Stunning and controversial. How big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. Guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag oh, team wow. match. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. a point that people have been talking about for years and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Ruby Riot and her cronies in the Riot Squad have made a big impact on WWE ever since they joined the main roster. These are three women who have an axe to grind, and they're coming out swinging. Incredible agility! Boom, what impact! Talking more about Ruby Riot and the Riot Squad's reign of terror. They brutalized the entire SmackDown Live women's roster their first night and have kept up that chaos on Raw. Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, and Liv Morgan will spend the entire day riling up everyone backstage, but the Riot Squad's all about pain once they're in the ring. Now that's what I call squad goals. Toss to the outside.
beginning to look bad for her here. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, Ouch. she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Oh, nasty impact. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions, there it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. She's looking at it. She's starting to fight out, guys. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Drop kick. Beautiful. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Here's your girl, Billy Kay. Boom. She has got to take advantage here. The night could be over for Liv Morgan. She goes for the cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. No, nah, not yet. Too early. We're looking at complete domination here. Oof. She's starting to sweat a bit. Her and her partner make it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. Ouch. This should be trouble, guys. This may very well be the opening her opponent was looking for. Ruby Riot just too quick. This is going to be big, one way or another. Looking for the exclamation. Diving senton bomb. That was amazing. Is it enough, though? You're not going to get her that easy. Hey, I guess you never know. Traps the arm. Bang! Riot kick. She's got a chance to win it here. But now, can Ruby Riot in an early pin attempt by Ruby Riot? She's not done yet. Uh-uh. What are we gonna see here? Hung up on the second row. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. ago you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history don't forget about the 3d from the dudley boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 wwe hall of famers the rock and roll express and tag team action like in singles competition once a duo nails oh look at boom northern lights driver i bet you feel foolish riding her off now can she end it here Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. What a stomp. Good grief. Gets the tag. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Comes in off the tag. Nailed it. I think 
she's trying to prove a point here. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Liv Morgan sizing it up. You gotta believe this one's over. Victory is on the horizon. Man, I wonder if Peyton Royce can survive this. Things have gotten worse for Liv Morgan. She, no, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the... Oh, you gotta love Peyton Royce. Oh. That spinning leg lariat. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. The night could be over for Liv Morgan. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, Peyton just took her out with a leg lariat. That's it. That's what she needed. Beautiful technique. Liv Morgan just barely got out of the way. Harsh impact. Oh, from behind. Oh, my God. Inverted Frankensteiner. In off the tag. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Liv Morgan just barely got out of the way. Tagged in. Great effort for both these teams, guys, but at this point, both sides look to be struggling here. She is on fire. Looking for a repeat. Diving senton bomb! That was amazing. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. A sec. <laughs> what a kick. She's got it now. Just as ruthless as the first time we saw it. Three. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. And she's toying with her now. Traps the arm. Ooh, what impact. She can pick up the win here, guys. She goes for the cover. One, two, three. They did it. They won the match. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in a tag team battle. That's a woman on a mission. Man, oh man, look at that. She's taking care of business. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Big pinfall victory here tonight. They make it look so effortless in there. What an amazing duo. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.